God damn it, all the fucking organs. Bitch ass motherfucker. Fucking crap. I'm sorry. No, I'm, t I'm telling you, assholes. Don't worry about hiding. Just fucking walk. No. No. There. What the fuck? Did it hear me? I, wh where the fuck is the toggle? Why, why am I not seeing where I can see? Nope. Okay, um... Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh right, this is where we were. We just had this long conversation with this a-hole. Balthazar. And his... And, and Flesh, his brother. And then we wanted to see what was this direction. And then we were going to go back and talk to Art Culla about his broken fiddle. It's a loot. But I like it better if it's a fiddle. That is a massive flesh golem that he kept referring to as brother. It is at our beck and call. Chat, can anybody remember? Genuine question. Can anyone remember what I had that summoned those ogres I befriended? back in the crash site area. If you want us to come fight for you, just do this and it will summon us one time and we will... It's a horn, so I didn't sell it. Lump's war horn. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to do? Here's what I think I'm going to do with Lump's war horn and the flesh golem bell. Whenever I think it's going to be the final battle, I'm going to summon them all like it's the battle for Kaer Morn in Witcher 3. And all of my allies have shown up to support me. So whenever I feel like I'm at the end game, goes nothing. I'm just going to summon every summonable ally I have and make it feel like they all showed up. to express their support for me. Yeah, or it's or it's like the Radigan fight. Fucking everyone everyone but uh patches shows up and is like, "All right, let's do it." Trust no one. Moving. Certainly. Why is this room all scary? Maybe I'm in combat with the people above me? The bowl contains an ancient rust-colored bloodstain. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. Hey, Kiba. This is one of Lady Shah's trials. Allow me. It's important. Well, it makes sense to have had her here, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I do find myself, like, I, we still have Dark Souls 1 left to play, but I do find myself missing playing FromSoft games right now. I see a bunch of Elden Ring clips on, like, outside Xbox, and I'm just like, oh, man, I want to play Elden Ring. Yo, zombie hit girl, bring us photos. I demand it. Oh, it's a dangerous area, so we can't long rest. That makes sense. I thought there were just going to be, like, an aggressive number of traps. Yeah, of course you can post one. Our only rules is, uh... Our only rule is don't post anything that makes us ban you, but baby photo baby photos is not gonna be what gets it done. Damn! That shade knocked me right back to the start. Oh! I'm a big fool. I'm a big dumb idiot. No one stopped me yet. No time to dally. 
Do I have it? Do I have this in scroll form? No, 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 no. No one back home will ever believe this. I thought I did. I may have to rest everybody so that I can get back here with uh, hmm. Pass Without Trace. It's a plus 10 b bonus to stealth checks. This is, a, this is a stealth maze. That's all it is. It's a stealth maze. So we got to go back out. Better take a look. Wait, what? We're locked in? What a day. A crooked touch. Oh, there's a lever. Whatever. Fucking think I'm scared of you. Uh-oh. If I had rolled a four, I'd have gotten there. I do have 15 thieves tools though. But there was a lever. We should long rest anyway. I don't have any short short rests left. And everybody's a little roughed up. Oh, Carlac, I miss you. Oh, not miss you. I do miss you. When do I get my next Carlac sex scene? They make a camp for every zone. That blows my mind. Arabella's here. Does anybody need to talk to me? What is going on with me? Weird. Nobody seems to need to talk to me. I fucking forgot that Halson existed. Gale's here. He seems to be doing alright. Oh, let me take a look. Sorry, I got all wrapped up. Oh my gosh, I want to give it nibbles on its little cheeks. I want to give it kisses right on its little temples. No. Right, I'm selected as a Starion, you're right. But yeah, like, I don't know what Ariza's up, up to right now. <laughs> I've now seen the baby. That's true, Armor Core 6 I hear is pretty good. Alright, does anybody want to talk to me? No, no. Doesn't look like. Seems simple enough. We'll find out. This is shit floating over my head. Oh, that's right, I did have a blessing. But that shit's gonna go away. AC6 is essentially boss rush, gotcha. Off subject, but I just started Starfield last night. Ten out of ten. Yeah, glitch was in uh, glitch was in Booth Montoya last night, watching me edit some videos and saying the same thing. That if you like Bethesda games, it's an excellent time. I've been told it's it's not a good stream game for me, but if I were to pick it up in my off time, if I were to find off time and then insert Starfield into my off time, that I would not be disappointed. I like Bethesda games just fine. One of my first games on this channel was Fallout New Vegas. I do not have off time. My off time, Stevie, is when I fall asleep sitting up on the couch after dinner. I shit you not. At least three times in the last, like, week that I've been in the house, I eat dinner, and I have, like, a YouTube video up or something, just trying to, like, decompress, and I fall asleep like this. And then I wake up when drool hits my bare skin, or hits my shirt, and then I have to clean the drool out of my beard, and then I come upstairs and go back to work. You didn't say it wouldn't work. You didn't say it wouldn't work. A half dozen people before you came in and said, don't play Starfield. Which made me think in the beginning that it was a bad game. I got really nervous. I was like, oh no. Yeah. 
Yeah, it wasn't you. Other people came in and were like, don't play this on stream. And I was like, oh. Okay. With haste. The bowl contains an ancient rust. Shadowheart, you've got stain. blood to spare. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. Try not to hit an artery. Who said that? Okay, Stroop, what's going on, homie? What got me? That's a friendly looking shadow. Time to press ahead. I mean, I could just send a Starion through. I'd like to bring everybody. Oh, it's not not everybody's crouched. Not everybody's hiding. Hide. Hide. This is what we're doing for the day, I guess, because I need to do this now. Shift C, thank you so much. God damn it.
I'm sorry. Hello? At least things have stayed interesting. I don't need any attention right now. Yeah, it's starting to feel like it doesn't matter if we hide. I'm telling you assholes, don't worry about hiding, just fucking walk. No. No. There. Light on my feet. What the fuck? Did it hear me? Fuck is the toggle? Why? Why am I not seeing where I can see? I have to hold it. No, come on, just toggle, you asshole. Toggle and stop being a fucker. Group. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Looking ahead. You two. And only you two. You two stumbling fucks stay back here. Yo, pocket or pickpocket, are you coming? Ah, this I'm supposed to be able to see uh I'm supposed to be able to see invisibility. This sucks. Nate, tier one, 102 months. I hope you don't mind. I told people about uh, your exciting evening last night, or at least what little bit of it I heard about. Did you say you're going to be in Texas? Yeah, I'll be in Dallas today, but I'm going down there for a funeral, so it's not like I'm going down there to, like, vacation. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Oh, I was seeing this before because I was crouched. Gotcha. Try a different route. Fucking what kind of route could I possibly go? This dude's gonna turn around at some point. You know? I don't see another route. My my brother in Christ. What now? I want you to fucking hug the wall and stop being a little bitch. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Have to keep going. That was a low roll, man. We had to get help there. Umbral Gym. Lady Shar's words of guile. To be unseen is to be welcomed everywhere. 
Yeah, Misty Step would have worked too. I think there were a couple of different ways to crack that egg. A soft Step is better than any armor. I wonder if there's anything else to get back there. A plaque that once bore the teachings of Lady Shar, but now is unreadable. Seek no permission. Take all that benefits you. I tried to put an invisibility scroll on. I, I guess it maybe because I was making sound or I literally bumped into one. But I put an invisib invisibility scroll on Asterion. And immediately got yeeted back to the front. Taking my time in the shadows. First trial complete. And move. There are multiple trials. These guys gone. Oh, I brought somebody with me. I meant to just bring him by himself. It looks like they're gone. Have to keep going. There's a button. Weird, I wonder what that does. Step carefully. There's a trap. Oh, yeah, look at that. Step carefully, there's a trap. There we go. Um What does that thing do that I just picked up? doesn't say you have thoughts the gauntlet of Shah I can't believe it I can't believe we found the dark lady's sacred crucible this is the place where you could become a dark justice year your dream might soon be realized I know I can scarcely believe it's real but I saw it with my own eyes felt the polished stone walls raised in Lady Shah's honor. Normally, it would not be for me to pursue becoming a Dark Justicia without a superior's command. But this is different. My lady wanted me to find this place. I know it. Well, for somebody who values the Dark, your choice in weaponry is betraying you. Uh, tell me what you know of the place. The Gauntlet of Shah is no ordinary temple. It is the highest test of the Dark Lady's faithful, to judge if they are worthy of becoming a Dark Justicia. The gauntlet has double meaning. It speaks of the ordeals to be overcome, and of the armor-clad fist of Lady Shah that would embrace the worthy. Survive the crushing gauntlet, and be embraced by the Night Singer at its very Burial, end. good morning. The old ways were lost over time. Now some claim the rank simply by killing a single saloon knight. But before... They were a true elite. Many would attempt the trials, but few would succeed. That was more work than I thought it would be. Anything of use? I think I overcomplicated it some. What the fuck is this guy? What's inside? This poor Girl Scout. Orders from B. Pay close attention. Seek the means to access the relic. Search in the library. Do not deviate. Do not fail. Return promptly. Balthazar. Yeah, and that's just the first test. All right, well, I guess we won't be taking this shillelagh back. Countless initiates walk these halls once. Anytime soon. To become dark justices, I will follow in their path. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I will succeed. The Gauntlet of Shar, uh, from where an army of Dark Justiciers shall rise and join the battle against those who shun her embrace, 
It is said that the name of the most sacred sites has two meanings. Firstly, it is a series of trials that Lady Shar's initiates must surpass if they are to join the most vaulted ranks. Secondly, it represents the most martial facet of the Night Singer's embrace, the armored fist that shall crush her foes and uh, but gently cradle those who serve her. Initiates cannot advance to Lady Shar's final test until they have earned the rite of passage. Each trial shall yield an umbral gem. Each gem shall bring the victor closer to the Night Singer. Once the way is clear, the final sacrifice beckons, and the spilled Salunite blood shall herald the rise of a new dark, dark just this year. Ah, crap on a cracker. Let's do it. Charmer. Yeah? You're the only one who's not hurt. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial. I need to do this same you as before. You didn't do shit. You sat back in the lobby and waited for me to bring you the umbral gem. So why don't you stop acting like you're the one who's managing to sneak through here? Self same trial until we shed that which holds us back. The path lies before me. Self same trial. What is that? No, well, nothing to it but to brick it up. Let's just haul ass in and see what happens. For an ambush. We have to fight ourselves. Let's get on with it. I didn't mean to come check what underwear she had on, but. All right, she's got healing. Um, someone there. Let's move. Seems like the best way. Don't waste us. Let's get rid of their healer. Oh, you lucky fuck. Um, what do I have grenade wise? I could do for now. Give up. Have to keep going. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hot in here. Jimmy on the go.
Yo, Tarot Shark, what's going on? I fucking missed, and I hate myself for it. Can I reach her? I don't want to stand in the fire, though. Uh, what if? Davy, what would you say for a chance to visit or eat somewhere in Dallas if I could make it happen tomorrow? I'm at a funeral tomorrow, my dude. I would love that. I would love that. I would love to hang out. Um, genuinely, I would adore that. Uh, but tomorrow, I'm at my my cousin's funeral as a pallbearer. And then I'm probably at his, like, wake afterwards. So, next time I make it down to Dallas, if you're in the area and I'm in the area, I'll make it happen for, like, vacation purposes. But there's nothing... Unfortunately, there's nothing fun about this trip that's going to go down. Maybe I'll just take the 40% chance. That's not... Oh my god, that's, that's it. That's all she wrote for... Uh... All she wrote for that one. Oh, thank you, Terra Shard. I appreciate it. It's, you know... Yeah, no, there's nothing happy. There's almost... There's just, like, no positive I can draw from it, which bums me out. I mean, I guess the, the positive is that I'm going to get to go see my family, a lot of whom I haven't seen in decades. <laughs> but... None of it's fun. Oh, he's visible now. Damn. Or is he? Yeah, he sure is. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, no, my, I, had a, I had a cousin in Dallas who passed away, unfortunately. Um, he's my age, which is a real bummer. Yeah, sneak attack. What can I do? Nothing. Carlac surprised. All right, so now I get a second turn. We're going to come up here so that we're not... No, wait. You know what I want? I want... I am going to get Whataburger. That's probably going to be my dinner tonight. I can't imagine that there's a whole lot of emphasis on making sure that, like... I mean, like, anybody at any given time... It's going to be one of those things where instead of, like, organized family dinners, it's just going to be, like, I'm hungry, I'm running to get food, who's hungry? And since I'm landing at dinner time, my sister's picking me up from the airport, I'll probably have her stop and grab me Whataburger. So, at the very least... At the very least, I get that culinary win, you know? That's fine. My turn. Oh, buddy. I feel really bad about this, and I need you to know that. I really like you. Look at you, Stanley. Flaunting your disposable hey. income with that donation to Taffy. Rusty, with a, I, I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm clearly not going to do food reviews on a funeral trip. But... I will get you guys photographs to either put in Discord or dump on social media. So if I can get, like, maybe I'll do Whataburger and I'll do In-N-Out. Or maybe I'll do, like, Whataburger and I'll do, like, Mesquite Barbecue or something like that. But I, I promise if I can get relatively good fast food. Because, like, we're Southern Baptists, man. When we mourn, we eat. When we're, when we're happy, we eat. Um, This is the way that we... <laughs> It's the reason that I had to go buy a new suit is that when I feel stressed out or any sort of wide-ranging sweeping emotion, I put food in me. So, um, 
I promise to, it, you know, if I get fast food while I'm down there, I promise to get photos for those of you who are going without. It's the Eastern European way too? Good. I'm glad to know I'm not alone. Food, I mean, hell, even the Mormons have funeral potatoes and those are really good. And those are the people that like, I love, I love my Mormon family and I feel like I rag on them a lot, but I have a lot of personal experience with the LDS church. And a lot of their food is bland as fuck. But funeral potatoes, for whatever reason, really hit. Last time I had to sit Shiva, people kept bringing food. That was, that was when Amber had cancer. That's, you know, when we had babies, happy times, sad times. Like, people know that food is how I mend things inside me. I'd be going to the mall to get a video game. My dad would be like, did you eat? Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, I worked out my abs for the first time in a long time. Uh, prison wallet, I don't think is going to be in attendance. It is not to my knowledge. Go get him, Quacamele. We are giving these people the fucking business, man. Do I have any way to slow her down? Ah. Oh. Hamstring shot. Yeah. Oh no. Not really. Is it weird that I want to have a threesome with two Parlax? She is a nimble little minx, isn't she? I thought I had more movement than that. I thought I was going to be able to get a bite off. Or this fake Carlax having a rough go of it. Nothing. Give up, not now. Good grief. Now this is my happy place. Well, good. Would you do me a huge favor and go give yourself the business? Thank you. Never a dull moment. The transpositional flux and umbral transporter. I don't know that I'll be out near Frisco. To my knowledge, most of my family still lives in the Mesquite area. No, I don't think I actually got the umbral. I think I just took the transporter. Oh, it's right there. My bad. Oh, fuck me. I'm so hungry all of a sudden. I shouldn't be. I had I had a breakfast sandwich this morning, but... It was literally just a transporter back. Got it. Lady of sorrows guide us. Did you want something? I wanted to ask you about all this bullshit, but whatever. Let's see what this does. Stress hunger? Maybe. <laughs> Be 
yeah, I do know for a fact that I am, uh... I can feel it brewing. Texas Landing Cattle, uh, closed down. They had the best brisket nachos. Morning, Tapman. Morning, Chad. Hope everyone's well. The Tavi has safe travels to Dallas today. Who's gonna, uh, gonna lurk while I side quest in Starfield because I have no work to do. Hell yeah, Ollie Queen. Is it morally wrong to have, uh, threesome with a mirror image of your uh, girlfriend? If it is, I don't want to be right. I really hope Mesquite Barbecue uses hickory to smoke. I don't know. Let's look up. About us. You'd think that'd be in the about us. I've got videos from Oh, as I say, you look there, as I say, we got video reviews, like, so that's small business. The actual city of Mesquite posted a video that apparently is not there anymore. Oh, it's on Facebook Watch? Get out of here. I don't care about that. And then a Zagat review. Yeah, I feel like 100% mesquite would be really intense. Like, that would be really intense. I know what a brush fire in Texas smells like, and that's what I imagine mesquite by itself smells like. Like, I imagine that nothing but mesquite would literally just be like, oh, it's like I'm eating a brisket sandwich in the middle of a raging North Texas brush fire. But yeah, a mesquite blend with like... A mesquite blend with like cherry or, or hickory or something like that would be really good. Dude, Stevie, I am leaving. Hold on. Is that the monk tablet? Um, let's see. <clears throat> I am leaving. I am leaving Richmond where it is a high of 31. And I'm going to Dallas where today it's going to be a high of 42. Sorry, I'm leaving Richmond where it's a high of 35. And going to Dallas where it's a high of 42. Celsius, yeah. Fahrenheit, I'm leaving a 96 degree day to go to a 106 degree day. Communist units. I, I, did, you, I did you the solid of converting it. I'm leaving the 30s to go to the low 40s. No, it's not dry. It is, the way that I've described Texas heat, Stevie, is as if you put a towel, a soaking wet towel, into a dryer, and then you pulled the towel out before it was dry, but while it was screaming hot, and then wrapped it around your head. And then you go about your day. It is an unforgivable... It is an unforgiving and, and literally lethal heat. Get the fuck out of here, AccuWeather. Shitload of ads and pop-ups and stuff. You can go fuck yourself. Sunny to partly cloudy near record high temperatures in North Texas. 
Right now, the humidity is 27%. Fuck me, the ads on these fucking websites. Right now, the ad is only 27%, but it will climb up to about 50% at the peak of the day. So that, for, for a North Texas day, that's actually not bad humidity-wise, but that is screaming hot temperatures. That is screaming hot temperatures during the day, and it's still going to be in the low 30s slash high 70s, low 80s at night. The heat breaks, but it breaks as soon as I come home. I come home on Monday, it's still in the 90s or high 30s. The next day, Tuesday, Dallas is high as 79, which I think is high 20s. Stevie, I remember one time I was down in Dallas visiting this exact same family that I'm going to see. I had an electric razor at the time, and I went and hit my beard with the electric razor because I had bad five o'clock shadow. Got myself all baby faced. I walked to the car, and by the time I got to the car, the humidity was so intense, and it had made me instantly sweat so much uh, in the walk from the front door to the car that, like, this entire patch of my chin this entire patch of my chin pimpled like i i had i had razor burn that turned into a patch of like 15 zits of like uh just sweat instantly coming up in this place where i had just shaved all the hair off and the skin was all raw and irritated anyway and so i i walked from the door to the car and had razor rash pop up where I was like sitting there in the in the driver's side rearview mirror going or in the passenger side rearview mirror going like oh no oh no it's terrible the the heat the heat in, in the american south is fucking like I, the the amazon is like the only place i could possibly think of whose heat would probably be worse her most sacred path if you visit the states yeah don't go to the american north in winter and don't go to the american south uh in summer i grew up in the southwest of florida and i can agree with that it, isabel it's it's oh i've been in florida in the summer too my my in-laws i met my in-laws for the first time during the summer in jacksonville it's it's aggressive like it feels like the weather's trying to kill you because if you're outside for long enough the weather can fucking kill you don't go to the american south ever oh i don't know don't go talk religion or politics with them but the food is really good generally speaking the the hospitality so long as you don't talk religion or politics is there but the food's fucking exceptional in the south there's a reason everybody in the South is so fluffy. It's because we eat well. What is this one called? The Faith Leap Trial? Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. And Isabel, I appreciate you being here. Another trial. Allow me, please. Knock yourself out. That said, Stevie, I did make the Um, I went to Buffalo during the winter one time.
I went to Buffalo during the winter one time when the wind chill had it so cold. The wind chill had it so cold that um, Celsius and Fahrenheit started to match again. So as bad as the American South heat can get. Good golly, Miss Molly. The American North's winter also could straight up kill you. That happens at negative 40. It was negative 20, the wind chill, when we were there. That was it, huh? Have a lot on my mind. That first one was way harder. Shah's blessings upon you. That's all? That's all you have to say? Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. After all, what I shared with you about my past, about being saved from the wolf, that is not something I would normally even dream of sharing. I don't know why I was able to see the paths, but I was able to see the pathing. You know what I mean? Like, that was like Fall Guys. Like, that one where you just, like, follow the golden path and try to be the first one to cross the finish line. But yeah, I, c I can see the path. And I don't know why. Maybe it was like, if you put these lights out, you could see it more clearly. But, like, I can 100% see the pathing. Easy. Like, easy see it. Brightness settings too high? I don't think so. I followed their instructions, like move the slider until the image on the left is barely visible. When I went to Alaska a few years ago for my birthday, it was 25 when I got there, and later it was negative 18. America doesn't have many options between I will freeze to death in my hovel this winter, or I don't cook inside in the summer. I take an iron plate outside with oil and butter and cook it that way. There were places in the American South this year that the heat was so bad that a lady was doing videos where she was taking cookie sheets filled with, like, chocolate chip cookies and putting them on the dashboard of her car and then leaving and then coming back and getting them later. And she was like, they're weird, but they're cookies and they're baked. Yeah, maybe there's some sort of passive perception that I have. I mean... I do have C invisibility from Volo carving out one of my eyes, ironically. <clears throat> which kind of mitigates that one entirely. <laughs> <laughs> 